Mentally strong people don't waste time feeling sorry for themselves. They acknowledge their emotions, but don't let them define their actions. Stoicism teaches us to focus on what we can control and to accept what we can't with equanimity. When we indulge in self-pity, we become trapped in a cycle of negativity and helplessness. We start to believe that our circumstances are beyond our control and that we're powerless to change them. But the truth is, we always have the power to choose how we respond to our circumstances. Welcome to the world of mental strength and resilience, where the power of the mind reigns supreme. In today's fast-paced and often chaotic world, it's easy to get caught up in the hustle and bustle of daily life and lose sight of what's truly important. But what if you could tap into a deeper level of inner strength and confidence, one that would allow you to navigate even the toughest challenges with ease and grace? Enter the ancient philosophy of Stoicism, a timeless and powerful framework for living a life of purpose, meaning and inner peace. For centuries, Stoicism has been practiced by some of the greatest minds in history, from Marcus Aurelius to Immanuel Kant, and has been proven to be a highly effective approach to building mental strength and resilience. At its core, Stoicism is about living in accordance with reason and virtue and cultivating a deep sense of inner strength and wisdom. It's about learning to focus on what you can control and accepting what you can't with equanimity. It's about developing a strong sense of self-awareness and self-acceptance and living a life that is true to who you are. In this video, we'll be exploring 13 things that mentally strong people don't do through the lens of Stoicism. From not wasting time feeling sorry for themselves to not giving up after the first failure, we'll dive into the habits and mindsets of those who have achieved a high level of mental strength and resilience and we'll show you how you can apply these principles in your own life to achieve greater confidence, purpose and inner peace. So if you're ready to tap into your inner strength and resilience and start living the life you truly deserve, then keep watching. Because in the words of Epictetus, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. Let's get started. Sign no one. They don't waste time feeling sorry for themselves. As the Stoic philosopher Epictetus said, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. When we take responsibility for our reactions, we break free from the cycle of self-pity and take control of our lives. So how can you apply this principle in your own life? Start by acknowledging your emotions, but don't let them define your actions. When you feel yourself slipping into self-pity, take a step back and ask yourself, what can I control in this situation? Focus on what you can control and accept what you can't with equanimity. Remember, mentally strong people don't waste time feeling sorry for themselves. They take action and they take control. And that's exactly what you can do too. Sign no to. They don't give up. After the first failure. Mentally strong people don't give up after the first failure. They learn from their mistakes and keep moving forward. Stoicism teaches us to embrace failure as an opportunity for growth and learning. When we give up after the first failure, we miss out on the opportunity to learn and grow. We start to believe that we're not good enough or that we'll never succeed. But the truth is, failure is a natural part of the learning process. As the Stoic philosopher Marcus Aurelius said, the impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. When we embrace failure as an opportunity for growth, we turn obstacles into opportunities. So how can you apply this principle in your own life? Start by reframing failure as an opportunity for growth. When you fail, ask yourself, what can I learn from this experience? And how can I improve next time? Don't give up. Keep moving forward. And remember that every failure brings you closer to success. Remember, mentally strong people don't give up after the first failure. They learn from their mistakes and they keep moving forward. And that's exactly what you can do too. Sign no three. They don't fear. Taking calculated risks. 
Mentally strong people don't fear taking calculated risks. They weigh the odds and take bold action when necessary. Stoicism teaches us to live in the present and to take action with courage and confidence. When we fear taking risks, we miss out on opportunities for growth and success. We play it safe and we stay stuck in our comfort zones. But the truth is, the greatest rewards often lie just beyond our comfort zones. As the Stoic philosopher Seneca said, the greatest obstacle to living is expectancy, which hangs upon tomorrow and loses today. When we focus on the present moment and take calculated risks, we open ourselves up to new possibilities and opportunities. So, how can you apply this principle in your own life? Start by identifying areas where you're playing it safe. Where are you holding back from taking risks? Take a closer look at the potential risks and rewards and ask yourself, what's the worst that could happen and what's the best that could happen? Remember, mentally strong people don't fear taking calculated risks. They weigh the odds and take bold action when necessary. And that's exactly what you can do too. Sign. No four. They don't worry about what others think. Mentally strong people don't worry about what others think. They stay focused on their goals and values and don't let external opinions dictate their actions. Stoicism teaches us to live in accordance with our inner guide and to ignore the noise of external criticism. When we worry about what others think, we give away our power and autonomy. We start to live our lives based on other people's expectations and opinions rather than our own values and goals. But the truth is, we can't control what others think. We can only control how we respond to their opinions. As the Stoic philosopher Epictetus said, it's not what others think of you that matters, but what you think of yourself. When we focus on our own inner guide and ignore the noise of external criticism, we stay true to ourselves and live a life of authenticity and purpose. So, how can you apply this principle in your own life? Start by identifying areas where you're worrying about what others think. Where are you seeking external validation and approval? Take a closer look at your own values and goals and ask yourself, what do I think of myself and what do I want to achieve in my life? Remember, mentally strong people don't worry about what others think. They stay focused on their goals and values and don't let external opinions dictate their actions. And that's exactly what you can do too. Sign, no five. They don't let fear hold them back. Mentally strong people don't let fear hold them back. They face their fears head on and take action with courage and confidence. Stoicism teaches us to focus on what we can control and to accept what we can't with equanimity. When we let fear hold us back, we miss out on opportunities for growth and success. We stay stuck in our comfort zones and we never reach our full potential. But the truth is, fear is a natural part of the human experience. It's what we do with that fear that matters. As the Stoic philosopher Marcus Aurelius said, the greatest fear is not of the thing itself, but of what we think it might do to us. When we face our fears head on and take action with courage and confidence, we realize that the thing we feared was never as powerful as we thought. So how can you apply this principle in your own life? Start by identifying areas where fear is holding you back. What are you afraid of? Take a closer look at the thing you fear and ask yourself, what's the worst that could happen? And what's the best that could happen? Remember, mentally strong people don't let fear hold them back. They face their fears head on and take action with courage and confidence. And that's exactly what you can do too. Sign, no six. They don't get distracted by external events. Mentally strong people don't get distracted by external events. They stay focused on their goals and values and don't let external circumstances dictate their emotions. Stoicism teaches us to live in the present moment and to focus on what we can control. When we get distracted by external events, we lose sight of what's truly important 
we start to react to every little thing that happens and we never make progress towards our goals. But the truth is, we can't control external events. We can only control how we respond to them. As the Stoic philosopher Epictetus said, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. When we stay focused on our goals and values and don't let external circumstances dictate our emotions, we stay true to ourselves and live a life of purpose and meaning. So how can you apply this principle in your own life? Start by identifying areas where you're getting distracted by external events. What's causing you stress and anxiety? Take a closer look at your goals and values and ask yourself, what can I control in this situation? And what's the best action I can take right now? Remember, mentally strong people don't get distracted by external events. They stay focused on their goals and values and don't let external circumstances dictate their emotions. And that's exactly what you can do too. Sign, no seven. They don't let past mistakes define them. Mentally strong people don't let past mistakes define them. They learn from their mistakes and move forward with wisdom and humility. Stoicism teaches us to focus on the present moment and to let go of the past. When we let past mistakes define us, we become trapped in a cycle of guilt and shame. We start to believe that we're not good enough or that we'll never succeed. But the truth is, mistakes are an opportunity for growth and learning. As the Stoic philosopher Marcus Aurelius said, the universe is change. Our life is what our thoughts make it. When we focus on the present moment and let go of the past, we open ourselves up to new possibilities and opportunities. So, how can you apply this principle in your own life? Start by identifying areas where you're holding on to past mistakes. What are you still beating yourself up over? Take a closer look at the mistake and ask yourself, what did I learn from this experience? And how can I apply that lesson to my life today? Remember, mentally strong people don't let past mistakes define them. They learn from their mistakes and move forward with wisdom and humility. And that's exactly what you can do too. Sign no hash eight. They don't compare themselves to others. Mentally strong people don't compare themselves to others. They focus on their own goals and values and don't let external validation dictate their self-worth. Stoicism teaches us to live in accordance with our own inner guide and to ignore the noise of external opinions. When we compare ourselves to others, we start to feel like we're not good enough or that we'll never measure up. We become trapped in a cycle of competition and comparison and we lose sight of our own unique strengths and abilities. As the Stoic philosopher Epictetus said, it's not what others think of you that matters, but what you think of yourself. When we focus on our own goals and values and don't let external validation dictate our self-worth, we stay true to ourselves and live a life of authenticity and purpose. So how can you apply this principle in your own life? Start by identifying areas where you're comparing yourself to others. What are you feeling inadequate about? Take a closer look at your own goals and values and ask yourself, what makes me unique and valuable? And what can I offer to the world that no one else can? Remember, mentally strong people don't compare themselves to others. They focus on their own goals and values and don't let external validation dictate their self-worth. And that's exactly what you can do too. Sign no nine. They don't let external circumstances define their happiness. Mentally strong people don't let external circumstances define their happiness. They focus on their own inner peace and joy and don't let external events dictate their emotions. Stoicism teaches us to live in the present moment and to focus on what we can control. When we let external circumstances define our happiness, we become trapped in a cycle of emotional roller coasters. We start to believe that our happiness is dependent on external events 
and we lose sight of our own inner strength and resilience. As the Stoic philosopher Marcus Aurelius said, happiness is not something that happens, it's a choice we make. When we focus on our own inner peace and joy and don't let external events dictate our emotions, we stay true to ourselves and live a life of purpose and meaning. So how can you apply this principle in your own life? Start by identifying areas where you're letting external circumstances define your happiness. What are you waiting for to be happy? Take a closer look at your own inner peace and joy and ask yourself, what can I control in this situation? And what choice can I make to increase my happiness right now? Remember, mentally strong people don't let external circumstances define their happiness. They focus on their own inner peace and joy and don't let external events dictate their emotions. And that's exactly what you can do too. Sign no 10. They don't let fear of failure hold them back. Mentally strong people don't let fear of failure hold them back. They take calculated risks and embrace failure as an opportunity for growth and learning. Stoicism teaches us to focus on what we can control and to accept what we can't with equanimity. When we let fear of failure hold us back, we miss out on opportunities for growth and success. We start to play it safe and we never reach our full potential. But the truth is, failure is a natural part of the learning process. As the Stoic philosopher Epictetus said, it's not what happens to you but how you react to it that matters. When we take calculated risks and embrace failure as an opportunity for growth and learning, we stay true to ourselves and live a life of purpose and meaning. So how can you apply this principle in your own life? Start by identifying areas where fear of failure is holding you back. What are you afraid to try? Take a closer look at the potential risks and rewards and ask yourself, what's the worst that could happen? And what's the best that could happen? Remember, mentally strong people don't let fear of failure hold them back. They take calculated risks and embrace failure as an opportunity for growth and learning. And that's exactly what you can do too. Sign, no 11. They don't let others define their self-worth. Mentally strong people don't let others define their self-worth. They focus on their own strengths and abilities and don't let external validation dictate their self-esteem. Stoicism teaches us to live in accordance with our own inner guide and to ignore the noise of external opinions. When we let others define our self-worth, we become trapped in a cycle of people-pleasing and external validation. We start to believe that our worth is dependent on what others think of us and we lose sight of our own unique strengths and abilities. As the Stoic philosopher Marcus Aurelius said, the universe is change, our life is what our thoughts make it. When we focus on our own strengths and abilities and don't let external validation dictate our self-esteem, we stay true to ourselves and live a life of authenticity and purpose. So how can you apply this principle in your own life? Start by identifying areas where you're letting others define your self-worth. What are you seeking external validation for? Take a closer look at your own strengths and abilities and ask yourself, what makes me unique and valuable? And what can I offer to the world that no one else can? Remember, mentally strong people don't let others define their self-worth. They focus on their own strengths and abilities and don't let external validation dictate their self-esteem. And that's exactly what you can do too. Sign. No 12. They don't get caught up in negative thinking. Mentally strong people don't get caught up in negative thinking. They focus on the present moment and the future and don't let past regrets or worries dictate their thoughts. Stoicism teaches us to live in the present and to focus on what we can control. When we get caught up in negative thinking, we become trapped in a cycle of worry and anxiety. We start to believe that our thoughts are reality and we lose sight of our own inner strength and resilience. As the Stoic philosopher Epictetus said, 
It's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. When we focus on the present moment and the future, and don't let past regrets or worries dictate our thoughts, we stay true to ourselves and live a life of purpose and meaning. So, how can you apply this principle in your own life? Start by identifying areas where you're getting caught up in negative thinking. What are you worrying about? Take a closer look at the present moment and the future and ask yourself, what can I control in this situation? And what action can I take right now to improve my life? Remember, mentally strong people don't get caught up in negative thinking. They focus on the present moment and the future and don't let past regrets or worries dictate their thoughts. And that's exactly what you can do too. Sign no 13. They don't let their emotions control them. Mentally strong people don't let their emotions control them. They understand that emotions are temporary and fleeting, and they don't. As the Stoic philosopher Marcus Aurelius said, the universe is change. Our life is what our thoughts make it. When we focus on our own strengths and abilities and don't let external validation dictate our self-esteem, we stay true to ourselves and live a life of authenticity and purpose. So how can you apply this principle in your own life? Start by identifying areas where you're letting others define your self-worth. What are you seeking external validation for? Take a closer look at your own strengths and abilities and ask yourself, what makes me unique and valuable? And what can I offer to the world that no one else can? Remember, mentally strong people don't let others define their self-worth. They focus on their own strengths and abilities and don't let external validation dictate their self-esteem. And that's exactly what you can do too. Sign. No 12. They don't get caught up in negative thinking. Mentally strong people don't get caught up in negative thinking. They focus on the present moment and the future and don't let past regrets or worries dictate their thoughts. Stoicism teaches us to live in the present and to focus on what we can control. When we get caught up in negative thinking, we become trapped in a cycle of worry and anxiety. We start to believe that our thoughts are reality and we lose sight of our own inner strength and resilience. As the Stoic philosopher Epictetus said, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. When we focus on the present moment and the future and don't let past regrets or worries dictate our thoughts, we stay true to ourselves and live a life of purpose and meaning. So how can you apply this principle in your own life? Start by identifying areas where you're getting caught up in negative thinking. What are you worrying about? Take a closer look at the present moment and the future and ask yourself, what can I control in this situation? And what action can I take right now to improve my life? Remember, mentally strong people don't get caught up in negative thinking. They focus on the present moment and the future and don't let past regrets or worries dictate their thoughts. And that's exactly what you can do too. Sign no 13. They don't let their emotions control them. Mentally strong people don't let their emotions control them. They understand that emotions are temporary and fleeting, and they don't. Through practice and dedication. By focusing on what you can control, taking calculated risks, and observing your emotions, you can become mentally stronger and live a life that's true to who you are. The Stoic philosophy, which emphasizes reason, self-control, and inner strength, is a valuable resource for developing mental strength. By studying the teachings of Stoic philosophers like Marcus Aurelius, Epictetus, and Seneca, you can gain a deeper understanding of the principles and practices that lead to mental strength. In addition to the Stoic philosophy, there are many other resources available for developing mental strength. These include books, articles, and online courses on topics like mindfulness, resilience, and emotional intelligence. By taking advantage of these resources, you can continue to grow and develop your mental strength over time.
Remember, mental strength is a journey, not a destination. It takes time, effort, and practice to develop, but the rewards are well worth it. By applying the 13 habits and mindsets of mentally strong people, you can achieve success, happiness, and fulfillment in all areas of your life. So, start today. Take one small step towards becoming mentally stronger. Focus on what you can control, take a calculated risk, or observe your emotions. And remember, every small step counts. With time and practice, you'll become mentally stronger and live a life that's full of purpose and meaning. In the words of Marcus Aurelius, the universe is change. Our life is what our thoughts make it. By changing your thoughts and developing mental strength, you can change your life and achieve your goals. Remember, you are in control of your thoughts and actions. You have the power to choose how you react to any situation. By choosing to focus on what you can control, taking calculated risks and observing your emotions, you can become mentally stronger and live a life that's true to who you are. So, take control of your thoughts and actions today. Start developing your mental strength and achieving your goals. You got this. And finally, always remember that mental strength is not a fixed trait. It can be developed and strengthened over time. With practice, patience and persistence, you can become mentally stronger and achieve your goals. Thank you for reading this comprehensive guide to the 13 habits and mindsets of mentally strong people. I hope you found it informative, inspiring and helpful.